If you're gay, then you're gay. Don't pretend that you're straight. You could be who you are any day of the week. Here, welcome back to the Livy. The, the what the hell am I saying? <laughs> welcome back to GSA Forever. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was Play a Boy by Cheryl Lloyd off her Sticks and Stones album. And I was using my new speaker I got for Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, today is the first of January. It's the new it today, Monday is the new year, so it's very exciting. Um, no, I really don't have any more. I don't really have any like you know, New Year's resolution. I mean, the only thing that I really want to do is I want to stay on top of my YouTube, which I've not been doing very well. But, um, I will try to stay on top of everything. So, yeah. Hopefully this works. I'm not entirely sure how, how, if I will stay with that resolution, but that's one thing I want to keep doing. So, in the last chapter, chapter 33 of The Nerd, it has been two more, it's been two weeks. Um, they've been... Um, Niall and Liam have been wait. there was only two weeks left for them so they could try again since they lost their baby Mason, sadly. So, and then apparently they went to, you know, the mall, and then apparently Ollie got into a little bit of a scuffle between those three. So yeah, today we're doing chapter 34, so here we go. Niall's point of view, I smiled as I put an X on the calendar while I was while I was counting down to the days until we could try again. Hey, Liam, look, I said, pointing at it. He smiled, hugging, hugging me around my waist. That was the longest I've ever waited for something, he said lowly, already trying to turn me turn me on by kissing my neck. Lee, I, we just woke up. I'm hungry. Can't we eat first, I whined, giving him puppy dog eyes. He sighed before nine, smiling at me. Okay, let's go, babe. He took my hand, bringing me downstairs to the kitchen. I made a bowl of cereal, sitting down at the kitchen table. Liam sat across from me at the, sm at the small table. I spent before eating my food very slowly as he ate his fast. Now, don't do that. You're making me even more hard. You're making this even more hard. He groaned, shifting the bed in his chair as he finished his food. When he got up, he put his, his bowl in the sink. I noticed the bulge. In his sweatpants, I giggled a bit and stood behind. As he stood behind me, wrapped my arms around his shoulder, uh, wrapped his arms around my shoulder. Hurry up, Nye, he said lowly in my ear. I shivered a bit before pushing the bowl away. Let's forget about breakfast then. 
I breathe out gain after going over to him. I wrapped my arms around his neck. And his hands automatically went to my bum. He pressed his lips. He pressed his lips. I pressed my lips to his. In his in the heated kiss, my hands going to his hair. He squeezed my bum a bit, making me jump, rubbing my rubbing my legs around his waist as he held me up, putting his hands on the back of my thighs. Bedroom, I demanded. He bit his bum a bit, going back to our room and pushing me under the bed. He climbed on top of me before attacking my neck with kisses. His hands went to the hem of my shirt, pulling it over my head as he took a, took his off along with the sweatpants and mine. Then he reconnected our lips, biting my bottom lip once again. Sliding his tongue in my mouth, they bowed for dominance for a while before he sucked on mine, starting to, starting to grind, making me moan loudly. Lee and my whimper before he ripped off both of our boxers. He examined my body before his eyes landed on my stomach. He lowered himself down, kissing right above my belly button while I whimpered a bit. Then he made me bend my knees so my feet were flat on the bed, grabbing some loot from the drawer. Been a while, might hurt, he mumbled. Covering three fingers in lube. I squirmed a bit and whimpered. I don't care. I panted as he teased my hole. He slid one finger in, making me bite my lip. He curled he curled it slightly, made me gasping as he slipped another finger in without warning. He scissored me. Mo was escaping my lips when he curled his fingers into my prostate. Liam, please, I whimpered. He smirked at me. He pulled his fingers up before covering the length in his length in the lube. He came back up to me and put his hands on the side of my head. He kissed me gently while while lying up his tip from with my entrance. He pushed it he pushed it in, me biting my lip at the stretch. He continued to push it in slowly, and when he was all the way in, I let out a breath. I didn't know. I didn't know I was holding out. The pain was replaced with pleasure. It was rocking on him just to get some sort of friction. Move, I gasped as he started to thrust at me slowly. Faster, oh, baby. I panted as I hit my face in his shoulder, moaning uncontrollably. Soon he was slamming into me, and he grabbed my leg and started to pump me. We couldn't tell whose moans were whose when we continued to rock the bed, hitting the wall a bit. Shit, so good, and I have waited so long, he groaned, laying out a low moan with each of us. Uh, uh, I let out a few whine moans. The bed squeaked below us. I crawled, I clawed at his back, panting, while moaning as I felt my thighs shake around my waist. Liam, I'm close. Fuck, I moaned, releasing onto his chest, and he did the same inside of me. We both let out loud moans as Liam's arms gave out and he fell on top of me. We were breathing heavily or hyperventilating. Him putting his face in my neck as as my hands went to his hair. We were sweaty as I ran my fingers through his hair. I love you, I panted, feeling him kiss my neck gently, making me smile. He looked up at me and pecked my lips. I love you too, he murmured. Back. I don't know why, but at the sound of his raspy, tired voice, I was getting turned on again. Um, I fumbled, blushing at a tad as he smiled. Here we go again, he got off my chest. Smirking before we started to make out again. After three, three hours later... After about the fourth time, we got up and took showers. My ass is gonna hurt like hell tomorrow. Babe, come snuggle with me. I'm cold. I whined as Le to Liam as I was sitting under a blanket on the couch. He was in the kitchen doing God knows what. In a minute, babe, he called. I said we were cutting deep under the blanket. Why isn't the goddamn heat on? Here, hon. I heard Liam say as he walked with two mugs in his hands. I smiled as he sat down next to me and put... Put them on the coffee table. Is that tea? I asked. No, hot chocolate. I didn't even know why it is so cold in here. It's summer. He said as he wrapped his arms around me and pulling me onto his lap. I reached for the mug and took, and took a sip. Smiling. Well, this is good. I shrugged. He smiled back at me before pecking my lips softly. Are you sore yet? 
He asked, smiling at me. I playfully glared at him. No, but there's no doubt in my mind. I will be tomorrow, I sighed, taking a sip of my hot chocolate. I set the mug back on the table before putting my face to putting my face in his chest. Do you think it worked? I asked, feeling him shrug. I don't know, babe. Hopefully in about a week you can get the pregnancy test and we can find out. Then we'll make an appointment and make sure the test was right. He said rubbing my back and I nod. I hope I am and remember we have to start on the treatment right away. He says not. I'm so stupid. I did all the research and I didn't even bother to check if my body produced, could produce hormones for him. I'm such an idiot. I mumbled, choking up a bit at the end thinking about Mason. Nah, no, none of it was your fault. Absolutely none of it. If anything, it was the doctors. They were the ones that were supposed to catch those things. Well, they didn't, so... They are the ones that should that you should be blaming, he he said. Well, I just nod a few tears falling. And also, Dan... Also... I also don't know how Louis could carry three without, a, without the pill, I said as he shrugged. He is a bit more... Feminine than you, I guess, I, I guess you could say, he said as I smiled a bit. Yeah, I guess I sighed as I wiped my white at my eye. Don't worry, Nine. We're going to have a baby whether it works this time or we have to try again. We're going to be daddies. He said, kissing the top of my head. I nodded. It's like you're willing to go to the ends of the earth to have a family with me, I said as he got serious but sympathetic, but a sympathetic look in his face. Because I am, Niall. I love you, okay? And I may not have a ring, but he trailed off as he got up and got down on one knee in front of me and held his left hand. In both my eyes, I cover my mouth with the right. Niall's, Niall James Horn, will you marry me? He asked. I was in shock, but I knew what I wanted, and I wanted Liam forever. So I nodded, wrapping my arms around his neck and hugging me back. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I love you so much, I whispered as I started to cry. I love you too. I'll get you I'll get you a ring as soon as I'll get you a ring soon to let everyone know you're mine, he said. But I just kept hugging him as I played it with his hair on the back the back of his neck, hiding my face and shoulder. I think I think you're already made sure of that, I mumbled, pulling his pulling the collar of his shirt down to reveal several love bites he gave me. He chuckled a bit. But those won't last forever. A ring will. He said, I smile even wider as I pull back, looking onto his eyes. His chocolate brown ones were also filled with tears. Then I crashed my lips onto his and we both shared a passionate kiss. I love this boy so much it hurts. On this note, trust me, he's pregnant again. I want there to be a, a Neon baby, haha. Anyway, Larry and now Neon wedding. Wow, haha. Ash. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this chapter, and, and I will see you guys tomorrow, and until next time, gay is okay, just ask the GSA, mwah!